Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to another lesson in our subject, Introduction to the Philosophy of the Human Person. Before we proceed to our uh, topic, let's have an exercise first. Um, let me see or let me know if you can do the following tasks. Number one is, can you describe the taste of water? Second, can you describe the color? The color blue to a blind person. Third, from the tip of your elbow, try to reach your chin. So basically, um, these are things that that are not well. The question is, in your own um, experience, or kung ginawa niyo ba kanina yung mga activities na yon or yung pinagagawa, were those activity easy or difficult, and why? Now, if you would ask me, because I actually tried number three, the one using your elbow, the tip of your elbow to touch your chin, it was actually difficult. And what does the exercise tell us? Actually, the exercise that uh, tells us that the human person has limits. Lahat tayong mga tao ay may, ang kakayahan natin bilang tao ay may hanggan. We are not, we are not godlike. Um, individuals or we are not demigods um, hmm, let's proceed so these are the uh, most essential learning competencies but we are more concerned with the specific objectives so the following are the specific objectives recognize one's limitations and possibilities evaluate one's limitations and the possibilities for their transcendence recognize how the human body imposes limits, distinguish the limitations and possibilities for transcendence. Okay, so the topic is the human person has an embodied spirit. So when we say embodied spirit, tayo daw bilang isang uh, tao, our, our body, our, our physical body is actually not separated, not separated or hindi nahihiwalay sa ating espiritu or uh, kaluluwa. Magkasama sila lang ang ating physical body at ang ating kaluluwa. Now, the human person as an embodied spirit has something to do with defining man. Kailangan nating alamin ang kahulugan ng man, ng human, human being, person, personhood, and human nature. By um, first man, it is defined as the representation of the entire human race. So, sa pangkalahatan, ang ginagamit natin sa sa sangkatauhan ay salitang man. So, maging babae man yan, matanda, bata, lalaki, um, it, it is um, encompassed in the word man. Human, a term used to refer for various classifications and species. For a living man, human is under the classification of mammalia. So, by, by science um, categorization, um, we are in the mammalia group. Human being, a term used to separate man from other human classifications like animals. So, ayan, kasama pala ang human classifications sa mga animals, but we are separated by from them because we are um, termed as human being. We are a unique class. Person refers to an individual who possesses self-awareness, self-determination, rational mind, and the capacity to interact with other and with himself or herself. So if you are, if a person or if an individual human being has self-awareness, self-determination, if he can decide for himself or herself, and then if he could decide with reason, then we call that um, individual human being as a person. Another is personhood, a general term which refers to the state of being a person with unique, sacred, and ethical status within him or herself. And lastly, human nature, with, which is a general term referring to the deepest and natural behavior of a person that distinguishes human from animals. So we are actually different from from the general kind of animals. A collective traits that form and consider the very essence of humanity. Nobody can be considered man without human nature. So, hindi sila pwedeng paghiwalay. So, again, those are the, the definitions that we need to know. Now, 
proceeding to human person. Human person is someone with an exact origin of his or her classification. Um, from the biblical perspective, yeah, there are actually two perspectives in this lesson. So, if we are a um, believer of the Bible, so, as a human person, we came from Adam and Eve. And if we are believing in science, we actually came from an ape under the class Mammalia. So, yeah, it's for you to decide kung saan tayo nagmula, kung saan kayo nagmula, or kung ano ang inyong pinagmula. A human person is typically with a body which is tangible, nahahawakan, and has a three components composed of soul, um, kaluluwa, mind, pag-iisip, at spirit. Or, again, it's actually synonymous with soul. A human person is entitled and granted rights and privileges by the state which he or she legally belongs. So, for us, because we are all Filipinos, um, we belong to the Philippines, which is our state or our country. And we are, we are, we enjoy the rights and privileges that our country gives us. Two general kinds to distinguish a human person. We have the cognitive, cognitive self and the physical self. When we say cognitive self, it is something within and cannot be physically seen. So, ito yung hindi nakikita but it's in our mind. It is the essential components of a human person that deals with the what of a person, including or which includes the human person's belief, mga pinaniniwalaan, desire, ano ang mga gusto or mga, mga layunin, dreams, mga pangarap, at intentions. So, nasa isip mo lang siya. Kaya siya cognitive. Physical self. Something can be seen in his or her physical appearance. Ito yung nakikita natin. Uh, it deals with the essential features of the human way of life or the who of a person, which includes his or her body type, strength, and appearances. So, kung ano ang ating um, nakikita sa isang tao, that is the physical self. Meaning, um, can be seen and actually tangible or mahahawakan. Now, proceeding to embodied spirit, it is an animating core living within each of us. It is known to be the driving force behind what we actually think, do, and say. It is the reflections of our total being by which our sensations lead to our human feelings, emotions, and decisions. So, um, it is, sabi ko nga kanina, embodied spirit is a combination of our self, our cognitive, our cognitive self, and our physical self. The cognitive is the mind, and the physical self is the body, the mind or soul. Embodiment of the spirit. It, refer, it refers to the I'm sorry. It refers to the inseparable union of human body and soul. Now, the human person as an embodied spirit. Ayan. As an embodied spirit, human beings demonstrate these following qualities. Bilang isang um, embodied spirit, tayo daw ay may mga katangian tulad na sumusunod. The self. Ayan. The self is the subject that thinks, feels, and acts. It is your I amness. It represents man's interiority and we actually call this a self-awareness. So yung lahat ng ating mga naiisip, because we are an individual, we are a human person, we think, we use our mind, we feel, and we actually do actions. This is called self-awareness. Number two, a human person is able to connect and interact with another person an animal or an inanimate object and we call this externality. So, wala namang taong hindi nakikipag-interact sa mga tao, mga ibang tao. And, um, because of that interaction and connections that we have with another person, um, we are actually having this um, quality which means externality. Number three, which, um, the quality of self-determination. 
We are not determined by others because we have interiority. We can direct the course of our own life. So when we say self-determination, you as a person actually decides for yourself. Kung ano gusto mong gawin sa buhay mo, gagawin mo. So, um, hindi ka, hindi ang ibang tawa ang magdidesisyon para sa iyong buhay. It will be you. Number four, dignity. A human person has an inherent value and importance and this is what we call dignity. So, hindi maaalis. Walang katumbas na halaga ng pera ang ang maaring itapat sa ating dignidad. So, as a human person, we have actually the rights, right to life, right to liberty, and right to property as provided by our constitution. And that that rights and privileges that we have are 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 uh, or it composes our our dignity as a human person and those rights and privileges should not be taken from us to sum up the qualities of the human person as an embodied spirit are a human person has self awareness or awareness of self a person has self determination meaning you decide for yourself Number three, a person is able to reach out and interact with others. That's externality. And number four, a person has dignity. Now, one of the greatest theologian in the 13th century named St. Thomas Aquinas said that all creatures, human beings, have the unique power to change themselves and things for the better. May, mayroon daw tayong kakayahan para baguhin ang mga bagay-bagay or tayo ang, sa, tayo ang sarili mismo natin. We can actually change our, our ourselves. And um, this power is called transcendence. The power or our ability to surpass our limits. So, hindi tayo confined to our to our limits. Although kanina sinabi natin sa panimula nating activity that persons or human beings has limitations but actually we can transcend that limitations that we have. Um, it is being able to transcend or to surpass your limit through your physical and mental abilities. So, alamin natin ngayon kung paano ba natin magagawa itong tinatawag na transcendence. So, isang halimbawa ay ang religion na tinatawag natin Buddhism. So, ano ba ang meron sa Buddhism? This is a religion um, founded by Buddha, as we all know. Um, yeah, okay. So, si, si Buddha, he was the one who realized that all people suffer. So, lahat daw tayo ay may, um, what we call this? suffer. Lahat tayo ay uh, may pinagdadaan like that. We we do we have problems. Um tayo ay uh, may mga suffering na tinatawag. So maybe in your case you just accept your own suffering as part of your life but not for Buddha. So dahil uh, na realize ni Buddha na ang lahat ng tao ay magsuffer um this reality ignited his his curiosity to examine and understand the word um, suffering. Now, proceeding, um, what what actually happened to Buddha in the 13th century was he left his royal life kasi mayaman siya. Iniwanan niya yung kanyang marangyang buhay and he spent his life for six years in the wilderness to find answers for his questions. And actually, what he did was um, he sat under a tree, which um, he called the Tree of uh, Enlightenment, for 40 days. And uh, after sitting in that Tree of Enlightenment, he found the answers to his questions on suffering. Bakit daw meron tayong um, undergoing pain, distress, or hardship? Bakit tayo ay nag- bakit pinagdadaanan natin ang mga bagay na ito and because of that he found the four noble truth and eightfold paths and yan ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon we actually um, we will focus on the eightfold path of buddhism so these are the eightfold path 
mga dapat mo daw tahakin, mga tamang bagay na dapat nating tahakin in order to achieve nirvana or enlightenment. First, right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right concentration, right mindfulness. So, iisa-isahin natin itong um, eightfold path ng, ng Buddhism as a religion. First, right view. Um, right view is a correct understanding of the nature I go back of the nature of things, specifically the four noble truths. So, tamang pananaw, tamang tingin. Right intention, eliminating thoughts of attachment, detestation, and harmful intent. So, in order to achieve enlightenment according to Buddha, we should do away with harmful intent, attachment, detestation. Um, this this pertains to having a positive vibes in all the things that we do. Wala, wag, da, wala, wag tayong gumawa ng isang uh, bagay na makakapinsala sa ating mga kapwa tao. Right speech. Abstaining or when we say abstaining, we are refraining from verbal offenses such as lying, divisive speech, lying pag uh, sisinungaling, divisive speech, any form of speech that could divide people or divide group group of people unforgiving speech ito an, ito um when we say unforgiving speech uh, isang hateful isang hateful na na message and irrational speech yung wala walang with um bereft of reason ang yung irrational speech basta ka na lang umimik without considering the the feelings of others tamang tama ito sa mga kapitbahay natin na malimit po muna sa mga kanilang kapitbahay. Right action. Refraining from physical offenses such as murdering, pagpatay, thieving, pagnanakaw, and sexual misbehavior or kalaswaan. So, we should do away with those things in order for us to find enlightenment. Uh, tamang paggawa. Number five, right livelihood or tamang hanap buhay. Evading, iniiwasan ang mga hanap buhay na directly or indirectly damage others. So, lahat ng hanap buhay na nakapipinsala sa ibang tao. Such as trading slaves. So, this was before kung saan uh, itong right livelihood na nagawa or na-formulate ni Buddha was actually uh, done before. So, there were slaves before and that was actually a prohibited um, thing or act. Trading of weapons, animals for butchery, intoxicants or poison. So, ang sinasabi lang sa right livelihood is dapat magkaroon tayo ng isang hanap buhay na hindi sala, hindi, hindi mali sa paningin ng tao at sa paningin ng Diyos. Right effort. Um, forsaking undesirable states of mind that have already arisen, preventing undesirable states that have yet to arise, and sustaining positive states that have already arisen. So, tamang, tamang, um, tamang gawain. Right effort. Oops. Iwasan daw yung mga hindi ka nais-nais na gawain. Right concentration. When we say um, right concentration, it means single-mindedness. So, ibig sabihin nito, kapag meron tayong gagawin, ay dapat nakafocus tayo. Sabi nga sa, sa ating mga nababasa sa Facebook or sa any other social media um, websites. Focus lang sa goal. So, that's actually... Um, and when you are focused in your goal, with your goal, should I say, you should be... Uh, concentrating to that goal. Number eight, right mindfulness. Consciousness of body, feelings, thought, and phenomena. So we have this. Um, as a person, we should be uh, conscious with our body. When we, and if you are conscious, conscious with your body, it doesn't mean na um, magpaganda ka, magpa, mag, mag, uh, you overdo on your consciousness. Uh, being healthy, healthy, 
um, taking enough hours of sleep, eating um, nutritious foods. That's me. That would um, tantamount to consciousness of your body, consciousness of your feelings, on your feelings and thought. So iwasan yung mga negative thoughts, iwasan yung mga um, bagay na nakasasama, nakakapisala sa ating mga pag-iisip, sa ating um, right um, mindfulness. So, those are the values that um, the human person need to succeed. So, sabi ko nga kanina, sabi nga natin kanina, should I say, um, although we have limits, kaya natin yung um, lampasan or isurpass. And if you could follow the eightfold path na ina-advance ng Buddhism, um, we can actually change ourselves, as mentioned by St. Thomas Aquinas. So, to wrap up our lesson, try saying these sentences, sabayan nyo ako. So, we begin with the first sentence, I am a person. Next, I am alive. I exist. I am here. I am present. I am living at this very moment. Again, I am a person. I am alive, I exist, I am here, I am present, I am living at this very moment. So those, that is our lesson for uh, this morning. I hope that um, you gain ad- additional knowledge with our lesson for today. And for your activity, in an Oslo paper or any uh, one paper with two, you draw a picture of yourself as a human person and below your drawing is your explanation on on why or ha- why did you draw yourself in that way so i drawing you lang yung sarili and have um a simple explanation so why why your person is uh, why your drawing is like that okay so I believe this is all for our lesson for today. So thank you for listening and um, um I'll be recording again our next lesson and um, I hope you have a good day today. Goodbye.